I don't know why I let people get to me. And this isn't going to be an overly exciting vlog, but I'm a little bit annoyed and a little bit frustrated. You know, I typically check my YouTube page in the morning just to see if there's any new posts and I like to look at the analytics to see who's watching and yesterday I got a post that really got under my skin and it really really bothered me. So I learned a long time ago that you can't worry about what people think. You have to be a generally good human being do the right thing, be positive, and push out all the noise from all the people that are negative. That's how I live my life. That's how, those are the people that I surround myself with, and everything else is just noise. And yesterday I'm on my YouTube page, I get a notification that I have a new comment, which I get really, really excited about because one of my goals of this page is to have that interaction with people that are viewing my videos. I want to know what they like about the videos, what they don't like about the videos. I want to know what their interests are and how that relates to what I, the video I posted. So I welcome feedback. So I see this comment and I open it up and it's this guy just tearing me apart, wondering how I'm ever going to get any subscribers. My videos are way too long. They're way too long and they have no point. It's just this negative person that has nothing positive to say and it just it kills me it makes me so mad and you try to push that out but it's it's like they're attacking your baby and yes right now I don't have the cutest baby my videos are far from perfect they are a little too long and I'm working on that I'm trying to get better but here I am putting myself out there to be ridiculed and this guy's just tearing me apart. On top of that, I look at this guy's page and he has zero content of his own. This is somebody that creates nothing, adds nothing to YouTube, is just consuming YouTube, and has the balls then to come to my page and tear it apart. And it's kinda like, until you've created something of your own, don't, feel free to come and check my page out, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, but you don't have to rip me apart when you're not doing anything of your own. It just, it really bummed me out. And then I start to go through the thought process of why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself out there? Just, it, it's time intensive. Why bother? And then I'm watching Colin and Samir's YouTube page and it's like a total epiphany. It's like, they understand everything I was going through yesterday. Here, here's a quick clip of what just totally got me. But even though we have all the tools, the most important thing is the ability to embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. So that brings us back here in our studio where we turned on a camera and tried to explain this concept. It didn't turn out exactly how we wanted to. This is, this is tough, yeah. Whew. But here it is. We just turned the camera on and it came together. The most important part was just starting in the first place. Ready? Yeah. I'm just gonna start and riff for a Yeah, let's just figure it out. So seeing that was so impactful. It was like the right time, the right moment. It's like they knew what I was going through. So that couldn't have come into my life at a more perfect time. Here I was feeling annoyed and just pissed off that this guy had made some comment that I thought was just not inappropriate but uncalled for and he doesn't even make content and then I'm down on myself thinking why why even do the vlog anymore he's kind of right but you know what Colin and Samira are right I've just got to pick up the camera and record and figure it out from there I'm gonna fall down I'm gonna make terrible videos but I'm not doing this for the subs or monetization or fame or anything like that I'm doing this for me and I'm doing this to document the, the oh, this is gonna sound lame, to so document the, the days, days of our lives. lives. But, so, whatever. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, I don't care. See ya! This is McDonald Carey, and these are the days of our lives. Oh man, I just stepped in that. It says reserved, don't enter. And I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if you can see it, but that's wet asphalt. Ugh.
It's all over my hands. It's all over my shoes. Ugh. Terrible. That's super frustrating. I guess that's what I get. It said reserve, kind of don't enter, and I entered anyway. Damn it. Now my hands are all sticky. I got black stuff all over my hands. It's all over my shoes. Damn, I hate when I do stuff like that. Karma, I shouldn't have been back there. Went back there to fly the drone for a quick second, and this is what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can get it off. It's tar, it's not coming off, oh well.